Preview. Ten celebrities you didn't know had died. It's Monday, which is just a bit of meh day really, so why not depress ourselves even further by talking about a load of dead people? You are welcome. A major celebrity death makes headlines across the world as we all know, 2016 anyone but the death of some of those lesser known stars, sometimes he passes by. Practically those who died in a time when we couldn't all write some phony tweet about it. So here are some of the celeb folk who left this moral coil with too much of a media fuss. Heather O'Rourke is a poltergeist girl. This one actually creeps us out quite a bit. Heather O'Rourke tragically passed away in 1988 at just 12 years old, undergoing surgery. You can even visit her grave on a haunted Hollywood tour in LA. Yup, weird. Chris Pan Seen Penn's lesser-known brother Chris starred in hit movies such as Footloose and Reservoir Dogs. He was nice guy Yeti, but he passed away in 2006 at just age 40 from cardiomyopathy. Andy Hallett, Lorne, this one cut us deep. Andy Hallett played one of our favorite characters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, spin-off Angel. He passed away from congestive heart failure in 2009 at just 33 years old, following a five-year battle with heart diseases. Coolest demon in town, bar none. Glenn Quinn, okay, this Angel show must have been cursed or something because former cast member Glenn Quinn, who played Doyle on the show, also died. The Irish-born actor also starred in Roseanne back in the day and had a promising career ahead of him, until his tragic death from a hearing overdose at only 32 years of age. Harold Ramis, the Ghostbusters star, died in 2014, aged 70, after a long battle with autoimmune inflammatory disease. The famous writer and director also had roles in Caddyshack, Groundhog Day and Analyze This. We'll have to raise a glass to him next time we watch Ghostbusters for the 300th time. Michael Clark Duncan Yup, the giant of a man we all fell in love with in The Green Mile is sadly with us no longer. The actor secured an Academy nomination for his breakout role in that movie. And while he went on to roles in Armageddon and Daredevil, he sadly passed away in 2012 from a heart attack. James Rephorn, you will have most recently seen James Rephorn in the role of Carrie Madison's dad in Homeland. But you'll also know him from his role in Scent of a Woman alongside Al Pacino. As Secretary of Defense, Albert Nemziki in Independence Day. As well as appearances in a rakeload of other TV shows including The Good Wife and Boston Legal. Rep Horn passed away after a long battle with skin cancer in March 2014. Tweet rank. Those of you who spent your childhoods were the mighty Morphin Power Rangers will know this lady. Vietnamese actress Tree Trang played this very first Yellow Ranger in the show and went on to do some movies afterwards including Spy Hard. Sadly, Trang died in a road traffic collision back in September 2001 at age 27. Brad Renfro, another one for the children of the 90s, the grown-ups had Brad Pitt, we had Brad Renfro. The child star shot to fame after roles in The Client alongside Susan Sarandon and Sleepers where he in fact played a young Brad Pitt. Sadly though, he went down a common road walk by those who hit the big time too young and died in 2008 at just 25 from acute hearing and morphine intoxication. Lisa Robin Kelly, fans of that 70s show, know this lady needs no introduction. She was of course Eric Foreman's drop-dead gorgeous sister Lori in the hit show who also took quite a shunning too, if you recall. Given the success of her fellow cast members, it's safe to say the future looked bright for Lisa, but unfortunately her personal troubles got in the way of any success she had and the actress passed away in 2013 with her death ruled as multiple drugs intoxication. So there you have it, we've bummed you out now, haven't we? We have. For more videos, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Celebrity.tn.